Evening worship at the Quebec Islamic Cultural Center cut short by terror. Sunday night, six people attending services were executed by two gunmen who targeted the men's section of the mosque. Eight others were hurt. The victims carried out on stretchers, range in age from 35 to 70. The two suspects were quickly arrested and are now being named as terrorists. Quebec City today has been hit by terrorism. Hard to believe in such a peaceful, beautiful city that such a thing could happen, but it has happened, obviously. This isn't the first time the mosque has been targeted. During Ramadan, the holiest time of year for Muslims, a severed pig's head with a note reading Bon Appetit was left at the door. While Canadian investigators work to uncover the motive behind the deadly ambush, the NYPD has increased security at places of worship. Counterterrorism officers have been dispatched to well known mosques like the New York Islamic Cultural Center on East 97th Street. And Third Avenue. It's, it's sad. While the frustration over bias attacks mounts, gratitude for the extra security grows. They're here to protect civilian and protect people. As a practicing Muslim dressing in traditional garb and driving the streets of New York City, Mama Rama Najai often wonders how people perceive him. There's a kind of ignorance going on because they see people, very peaceful people, and they think these people are terrorists. I don't think so. It's, 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 it's terrible. To combat the feeling of isolation, Grace Mosley felt compelled to leave this message of inclusion. I can't imagine what they're going through, and so I just wanted some way to reach out just to know that they're not alone and that they're a part of this neighborhood as much as everyone else here. As a specialized security detail continues here in New York City, Canadian police learning new details about these two gunmen. Both are said to be in their late 20s and early 30s. Neither of them have a previous criminal record. No motives have been released as of yet. We're live on the Upper East Side. Magdalena Dara, CBS 2 News. Maggie, thank you.